Today, uh, we're going to be testing um, the Evolve Together masks. Now, uh, this is the packaging that they came in, which actually I really like their packaging. Uh, it's this, uh, their whole brand is about being eco-friendly and stuff, so of course they have fully recyclable plastic, uh, packaging. They've got this great, like, nice card in here. Medical grade masks for people that care. The thing I don't like about this is they claim to, like, have these... Uh, it claims to be like this 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 FDA registered mask and they and they just had a spread in Fortune magazine which was a beautiful article really well written um, but it just it's stuff that's not true it says like uh, you know we're made in a completely sterile FDA registered factory sterile in manufacturing and sterile in, in medical devices is a big thing it's a secondary process that you have to do you, you should not claim sterility um, and there, there is zero chance that these are sterile. So uh, our masks uh, provide 98% bacterial filtration and 95% uh, uh, particle filtration. But they claim that their masks pass uh, a European standard uh, called Type 2R. Again, I'm nitpicking. Who cares, right? But I, it's me. I, I care. I also like don't like the fact that they're not transparent. They, they kind of make you feel like if you go to Evolve Together's website, it makes you feel like you're buying... Um, something made in New York, made in the United States, and that is not true. I asked, it's nowhere on their website. I, I emailed them, I called them, could not get a response, uh, but it's here somewhere. And then, because you have to put on here, non-sterile. I get it, it's marketing, but come on, man. You, you don't have to say that, all right. Also like, oh, this is an American mask. Why are the dimensions in centimeters? Um, medical grade mask for people that care. These masks are not substitutes for medical or procedural masks. Pick a lane. Like, is it medical or not? Like, I want to know. Jeez, this is killing me. There it is. Made in China. Yeah, they got it in tiny letters right there. Made in China. Okay, it's fine. They're, everything's made in China. These cameras are probably made in China. I'm basically made in China. I'm not made in China. If it's made in China, just be upfront with it. Don't pretend like you're made in America. You know what it is? It's that they just, they just didn't do their homework and they just don't understand. I don't think that there's anything nefarious going on. I just think that they don't understand. But the net result is uh, confusion about masks in the market. The Fortune magazine article said these were the only available FDA approved consumer masks. FDA does not approve masks. They clear masks. These are consumerly available <laughs> and they actually are FDA listed. So, uh, and that's a lot of work to get done, by the way. I'm done. So this is a great quality construction. Uh, according to the Forbes or the, uh, the Fortune article, um, the, the woman that made this is a, a designer and she is clearly very, very good. Uh, she has spent time perfecting this mask. Now, the main differences are, you can tell, this is white on one side and ours is, is full black. Um, you also note that um, the difference between the two masks is this one is kind of like a little bit, it's kind of like charcoaly or something like that, you know? Well, the reason that theirs is full black and ours is not full black is because ours is a medical device. It is listed with the FDA. It is a surgical mask. And to be a surgical mask, you have to have a certain level of breathability because if you're gonna wear this for 10 or 12 hours, you gotta be able to breathe in and out. What they're doing here is they're using a, an outer uh, piece of fabric that's about uh, three to four times thicker than ours. So to get technical, this looks to be about 70 or 80 GSM, this is grams per square meter. Ours is 25 GSM, is it means that um, it's a lot more breathable. That means you can breathe through it. In fact, we have to be under a certain level of breathability or the FDA won't let us list our devices as medical devices. We'd get kicked to a consumer brand. So yeah, that's why I'm mad because they say that they're all this medical thing and they're actually not because you can just tell by literally looking at it. Okay, second thing. And you will see this with most Chinese masks. Again, this is white. What's funny, this is the front of the mask. This is actually the front. That is the front. I know, right? Well, it doesn't look like a front, Lloyd because the logo is on this side. Well, masks are designed with the weld to be on the outside. And the reason the weld is on the outside is because when the weld is on the outside, 
it gives a better seal. Fit and filtration are important. You gotta have high filtration, but if the fit isn't right, then air will find a way around. When you have these uh, ear loops pulling from the outside, it gives a better fit. You see that? Now, if I put this on, the ear loops are huge. Look at that. I'm not crazy, right? That's a bigger gap, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the reason that is, is because the welds are on the inside, so it's not pulling as much. It does look damn good, though. Look at that. That is good. I, yeah, I think it looks good. Looks good. So what do you want? Safety or science? You pick. But don't say you're a medical mask when you have like several like very, very boring technical things, granted, that are not tech. And you can trust me because I am wearing a lab coat. Well, let's go ahead and, uh, and, and test this bad boy. Now, I'm going to give him a fair shot here. So I, I do have to like open this up just a little bit because I want to test the actual fabric of the mask. And the reason I'm doing this is this uh, apparatus, when you breathe, it's breathing in kind of a larger area. And that's very important. That's why these masks have these uh, folds in them. It's so that it can give you a bigger area, a bigger filter to breathe through. So I'm just gonna maximize that filter so we get a fair shot at the test. Oh, just kidding. It hurt a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I've tested their mask before. The filtration's pretty good, to be honest. Um, I'm curious to see what it will be today. Again, if you've watched our videos before, it takes about 10, 11 seconds to warm up. And we're off to the races. We're already hitting at a 91, 93, 94, 95%. It's, it's good fabric. You know, again, the breathability is gonna be a lot lower than ours is gonna be, but you know, it's a pretty, pretty decent mask. Now, remember, they claim on their website that they are uh, type 2R, which is a European standard. Um, which type 2R, if you are, and that would be a medical device, uh, type 2R uh, has a 98% filtration. And they're right now around 96%. But, you know, we're only, we're not even halfway through the test, so we got a minute to go here. On the bag, however, and I actually didn't notice that because it was the first time I've actually read that detailed on the bag, but it was just making me more and more angry as I was reading it. Uh, it does say uh, particulate efficiency uh, 95%. So it does say that on the bag. BFE, PFE, 95%. So that's what they're claiming on the bag. On their website, again, they're claiming to be 98%, but that's only if you know the type 2R standards and who would actually read those? But, but I mean, who would really read them? 95.8, we're almost done. We got five more seconds left. 95.8%. Pretty good. Like I said, they're they're meeting what's on their bag, so they're they're true to the bag. The article, uh, the 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 beautiful beautiful spread in uh, in, in Fortune. Um, well, they're not meeting that, so <laughs> something's happened uh, there. Uh, I don't know how their lab passed this at 98% when this uh, machine is you know. I, and again, I've tested this before, so if you did stay to the end of this video, you must really like masks, or you must be really bored. Thanks for watching.